Good morning. We're talking about the seven core passions of Lifeline Community, the things that drive our ministry. I mentioned the first one yesterday, passionate worship. They work on the acrostic passion, passionate worship. Here's our second one, the letter A, authentic spirituality. You're going to be seeing a theme that it's not just being spiritual, it's not just worshiping, but there's a way about it. There's a way about it. There's um, uh, how we want to hold something. It's very, very important to us. And what we want isn't just to be spiritual people. We're not looking to be pious people. We're trying to cultivate authenticity. Authenticity sometimes is hard to come by. And uh, unfortunately, it's in a little short supply. About a month ago, the Bible Museum that uh, has been put together in Washington, D.C. by Steve Green, who is the head of Hobby Lobby. He's amassed quite a collection of Bible manuscripts, ancient Bible leaves, and so forth. And he had 16 uh, leaves that were uh, uh, pieces that looked like parchment. They actually ended up being leather but they were uh, supposed to be connected with the Dead Sea Scrolls found in Qumran, uh, just on the uh, western to slightly northwest side of the Dead Sea. Well, uh, a couple of years ago, there became some question about whether or not those pieces were authentic. And then last month, it became clear that they were not authentic. In fact, they were investing about five of them to begin with a couple of years ago, and they found out that 16 of them had been forged. And they even uh, were able, through uh, some lab techniques in a German lab, to determine how they'd been forged. Uh, there were some identifying marks, the use of modern ink. Uh, as I mentioned, the, the Desi Scrolls are on parchment, and this was actually done on leather, and they had taken an amber um, uh, sort of sheen that they use to sort of weather the material and make it look authentic and so forth. It looks like it all came from a particular individual's hand or maybe a group of individuals because even though they bought them at different places, they ended up finding out that uh, they may have been forged originally in the same place. So sometimes even experts can be fooled. Uh, through the years at Lifeline, uh, I've seen different people come and go, and through years in ministry, many of you have seen people come and go. You've seen people in church come and go in your life, and some people put on a face for a particular season, and then for another season, they change that face. And for a while, there's a spiritual uh, attitude, there's a spiritual depth, there's a spiritual interest, but it lacks a kind of durative authenticity. I want to read to you from Proverbs 11, verse 3. It says, The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. You know, God is an expert who will never be fooled. The integrity of the upright guides them. The authentic life, the holistic character, the consistent, holistic representation of a life that is focused toward God that kind of life is the kind of life that guides an individual, that allows them to, as, as uh, Eugene Peterson titled his book on discipleship through the Psalms of Ascent, it gives us a long obedience in the same direction. I want to encourage you to seek the Lord, yes, but do it authentically with your real self. Be the real you with the Lord and with others. The Lord is not fooled. And the Lord takes you at your word. So be authentic with him. Have authentic spirituality. Have a great day.